I quit a week ago, but my boss doesn't know. You won't believe how I got away with free pay. I got accepted into college and had to quit my job of two years. I put up my resignation papers and had two months of notice period left. I had informed my manager and team, but didn't account for Mr. S who was technically on my team but worked from the client offices overseas, so I don't get to see him ever. Background on Mr. S, he was hired as a mediator between the client and us, but had years of technical experience so he often helped us out with the technical work, but was always a snob about it. He made sure to CC every possible manager in every mail to show that he was doing a lot more than his role was required to do. Everyone hated how commanding and rude he was. Most meetings with him were just the entire team listening to him complain and moan for 20 minutes. He had no boundaries and would call up at odd hours of the night just to prove his point. He would promise clients certain results with unreasonable timelines without consulting the team, leading to late delivery and terrible client ratings. Since I had two months left to go at work, I wasn't quick to give up responsibilities and transfer knowledge to my colleagues. I handled an important client-facing task and I've been doing it for the two years I worked there. I never taught it to anyone else because it was a relatively easy task and it hasn't been screwed up in two years. We get info from the client that my task was undergoing major upgrades and needed to be done extra carefully and on priority for the next week. I know the drill and get to work as usual. Mr. S calls me up on Skype to re-emphasize the importance of the task this week. I just reply to him that I've been following all protocols every week and will continue the same as usual, being careful of the upgrades. He considers my answer as unprofessional and inconsiderate and proceeds to tell me how I'm not that important to the team and my job was easily replaceable. He then cut the call, and proceeded to reassign all my tasks for the next two months to someone else, while also formally emailing everybody that no new tasks were to be assigned to me. There I sat, maliciously complying, watching my teammates struggle to run my task, unable to help. I sat around doing nothing for the last two months of my job. Luckily I was working from home so that meant two months of paid leave. 